Hey guys, I'm back with Honda Accord and today I will speak about problems with starting car. There's times when you try to start a Honda Accord and uh, it engine cranks well, the fuel pump works, you can hear it very good and everything seems okay, but for some reason it just does not start. It's not the ignition problem, it's not uh, the sparks, it's something else, it's the relay. So why it's not start? Because uh, the relay which is responsible for fuel pumping into your engine it's uh, not working properly and it usually happens because it's getting old and uh, this problem usually occurs after your car warms up because these uh, soldering points start to like peel off and uh, they like not ensuring the right connection through these uh, different connections so um, this problem might occur because of usually when the car is warm so right now my car is warm and we'll see if it'll work when I turn the key to the position 1, it should like uh, click once when the yellow light turns on and click second time when relay is fine. So we'll see if it will work nice. You can hear there are too many clicks, so it's not. Sh I'm not sure if it will work or not, but we'll try to start it. Oh, well, you can see it started, but it's stalled right after that. So let's do it second time. Some weird click too. No, it's not the right click, so definitely you can see the cranking everything is fine but it's not starting so you had a similar situation and uh, you can diagnose it really quickly by these clicks and by the check engine light if you hear that the distinctive click when uh, after your car has like first position you can hear no clicks there so this must be the relay so don't worry it's not uh, the world end it's actually kind of easy to fix so let's dig in to fix this relay you will need to dig in in the dirty underneath so go under your steering wheel and you need to dig it rather it's deep in since it's located under those so wires and everything else you can see this is distinctive It's the red one and this is how it looks you can see so next thing what you do after you have removed it go and heat up your soldering iron mine is with a flat end it's not nice better if it's with rounded end like needle and what you do next while it's uh, warming up take this one try to will focus whatever I can take this you can see here and here are like two clips which are holding this in place. Just a little bit widening it this side up and then do the same thing with the other side and it's out. So after you have removed this plastic cup, take your relay and all you need to do, take your hot iron and heat it up till it melts connection point and then move on like that to so every all of these connections Just remove anything will fall some place where it shouldn't be. I can give you precise time how long time you have to do it. Just do it when you when you feel so right and just stop it. Well, it's this for me right now fine. Then just take this plastic housing 
and stick it right back in. Like that. Then go and test it with your car. Next, locate your relay wire and connect it back. You can just connect it one way, so don't worry. You can do it even without seeing what you're doing. Just click it, make it. Not click it. While you're hanging, just go to your car and start it and to see if it's working or not. One click, one click there, it's good. The final part, let's try it if it will start run. It's actually a hot start will be because I already heated the car up, so let's see if it will work fine or not. There's the click. And then the car starts, that's good. And more or less, um, this fix will most probably help you, but there might be chance that it will not work. Like 50-50 chance, so since it doesn't cost anything, try it. You need only soldering iron and uh, this 10 millimeter drum or whatever else. You, you can even open this uh, nut with uh, pliers, so do whatever it takes, try this out and uh, save some money, save some time by fixing your car by yourself. Thanks for watching. I hope I could help you a little bit fix the problem with the problem that you can't start car when it's warm or hot. So, bye.